Hey there football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we've got some unfortunate news for Newcastle United. The team's injury crisis seems to be getting worse, as star striker Callum Wilson is set to be sidelined for at least six weeks due to a hamstring injury. Ouch. And that's not all, folks. Center-back Sven Botman is facing an even longer layoff because of a knee problem. It's a tough blow for Newcastle and manager Eddie Howe, especially with a grueling fixture schedule ahead. To make matters worse, midfielder Sean Longstaff is also struggling with a swollen ankle and may be a doubt for Newcastle's next match against Chelsea. And let's not forget the 10-month ban on star summer signing Sandro Tonelli. It's just one more setback for the team. Newcastle's main priority in January is to find a replacement for the injured Sandro Tonelli. They have their eyes on Manchester City's Calvin Phillips, but that won't help them in the short term. It's a gloomy situation at the club, with Wilson expected to be out until the end of December. But it doesn't end there. There's growing concern over Sven Botman, who hasn't played since September. The Dutchman scored his first goal for the club before being taken off due to a knee issue. The medical staff have been trying non-invasive methods to resolve the problem, but there's no sign of an imminent return. Surgery may be required, which could mean Botman will be out until February at the earliest. Newcastle is hoping to avoid that scenario, but time is running out. On the bright side, the muscle problem suffered by Miguel Elmiron is not serious, and he could be back in time to face Chelsea. Winger Harvey Barnes is also making progress from his foot injury, but it will be at least another month before he returns to the first team. There's some hope for Newcastle, though. Alexander Isak is set to return after the international break, and Elliot Anderson could also be back before the end of the year. However, Dan Byrne, Jacob Murphy, and Matt Target won't be expected back until mid-January. So, it's a challenging time for Newcastle United with key players out with injuries. Let's hope they can overcome this setback and bounce back stronger. Stay tuned for more updates here at Soccer News Center. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss a football update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.